All right, everybody, here we go. Same cold cup of coffee by now. Take two, part two, scripture. Uh, I hope you heard the one just before this that uh, opened the door for this teaching, which is going to be a take two, part two, and part three before we get done. Take one is in the books. I have two Bibles in my lap and a concordance and a Bible on the floor. Revised Standard, 1952. Mark, the 12th chapter, if you're following me, Mark 12. Uh, I'm going to start with 28. And one of the scribes came and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that he answered them well, he is the Lord Jesus Christ here, teaching those that ask the question of the seven brothers, who shall she be married to in heaven? And the Lord says, you're deceiving yourselves. You don't understand the scriptures about marriage. There's no given in marriage in heaven, and you don't understand the resurrection. Two things, all right? Now, it was a Sadducee scribe. Why do I say that? Because of 1218, and a scribe came to him, or the scribes, all right? So, uh, scribes, now whether you were Sadducee or Pharisee, I guess that doesn't clarify. But anyway, a scribe, a lawyer, a doctor, a scribes could be a, a um, making copies of Torah. They know the word because they write it. Uh, that's their job, 24-7, or however long they write, and then they sleep and eat. Okay, they don't translate, they duplicate Torah, a scribe. I guess the scribe knows uh, all the laws of Moses, knows Talmud, Torah, Tanakh, all these different titles of different writings. Verse 28, 12, 28. And one of the scribes came and heard them disputing with one another and seeing that he, the Lord Jesus Christ, answered them well, ask him, the Lord Jesus Christ, which commandment is the first of all? And the Lord Jesus, I added Lord, answered, I'm reading Revised Standard 1952. The first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and I add mind, heart, mind, and with all thy soul, and I add spirit, soul, spirit, or spirit, soul. You can turn them around, either one of them. And with all thy mind and heart, heart, mind, mind, heart, you get a true witness, double, all right? One heart, one mind, and when you add the second word to make it a two-word singular word, heart, mind, mind, heart. Okay, and with all thy strength, the strength of praise, the number one sacrifice is your voice praising God, and you will strengthen yourself when you acknowledge and praise God with all thy strength, all right? Okay, the second is this, love thy neighbor as thyself, Ephesians 4 Verse 15, verse 25, speak truth with thy neighbor and love thy neighbor. Now, that is the second. Point being, there's a first and a second here. What's the first commandment? What's the second? There is a first and a second. There's a first and a second in the eternal purpose and eternal plan of God. The old and the new. The old is to vanish away. Don't mix it. Don't pour it in the big gold bowl. Stir it all up. It's all inspired of God. It's all good. We are in part two, salvation, grace, mercy, peace, and joy, faith, hope, and love in the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahoshua. Selah, moment of silence. Think on that one. How are we doing on time here? Oh, I got to watch the other clock. I forgot to punch my clock in here. I'll do it anyway and stop at five minutes. Okay, that was a revised standard. And you've heard this line misquoted many times, many ways, in many translations. The first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 
Okay, now I'm going to read to you from the sacred name Bible that came out of the Rotherham's Bible, a Hebrew scholar, all right? And here it is where we find 1218 in the sacred name Bible. It is a Sadducee, and the issue is uh, resurrection. And uh, there was a custom of seven, seven brothers, and they all married the same Jewish woman because of a custom in Israel. I'm not going to get into that. But the final question, they were trying to trick the Lord. Whose wife is she in heaven? Okay, now verse 24. Yahshua said unto them, Are ye not uh, are ye not for this reason or cause deceiving yourselves? And they were deceiving themselves, knowing neither the scriptures nor the power of Yahweh. Wow. Paul says, I come to see your power, your anointing, when you speak or teach, speak of the Lord or teach of the Lord. Come to see your power. In the Holy Spirit of truth. Do you have it right or are you deceiving yourselves? Are you twisting and distorting the writings of Paul or are you taking them as the Holy Spirit wrote them through Paul? And we have a true witness deceiving yourselves again up in verse 27. And I've written deceiving yourselves at the top of the page. And uh, L is the singular of Elohim. Elohim is a singular plural word. El is singular. The Elohim, the creator, is plural. Let us make man in our likeness, the Father and the Son. State sphere one, extending itself and working with state sphere two, Christ the Son, before earth and humanity, communicating because all creation was through and by and for, Elohim creator creation was through Yahoshua, the son concept of God. All right. Sphere, realm, state one, Yava, one God, through one Lord, son, one Lord God, Elohim creator. All right. I read on. Verse 26, 1226 of Mark. Got about two minutes left here. But as touching the dead, that they do rise, or the subject of the resurrection, have ye not read in the book of Moses at the bush how Yahweh spoke unto him, saying, I am the Elohim, or the creator of Abraham, and the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob. He is not the Elohim of dead men, but of a living, born again, a living, alive of the Spirit of God. Greatly are ye deceiving yourselves. Speaking to those men that asked the question about who is she married to in heaven, he says, you don't understand marriage in heaven. There is none. There is no, uh, I forget the word now. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll move on. I, I, I had a blast in my mind to come to a stop there. Uh, verse 28, and one of the scribes came near, hearing them discussing, seeing that well he answered them, that the Lord answered them well, began to question him. The scribe began to question the Lord. Who is the chief, which is the chief commandment of all? And the Lord answered the chief commandment of all in the sacred name Bible. Names are mentioned here now, and not titles, Lord, Adonai, or Lord, or Hashem, titles. Yahshua answered, the chief, the chief is, or the number one commandment is, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our Lord God Elohim, Genesis 2-4, Lord God, second account of creation. Uh, yeah, and Yahshua answered, the chief or the number one commandment is, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our Elohim. Yahweh is one. Yah is one. Short form of Yahweh is Yah. Way eight. 
Y-H, Y-A-H. And I'm saying that because we're going to the, in this sacred name Bible, the hallelujah four times in Revelation is where we're going to end up. I've got to end quick here, 10 minutes and 13 seconds. Therefore, thou shalt love Yahweh, thy Elohim, with all thy heart, mind, and with all thy soul, spirit, and with all thy mind, heart, and with all thy strength, almighty praise, all thy strength of praise, all right? Point is, Yah or Yahweh is one. Okay, and there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, one God and Father of us all, Ephesians, the fourth chapter. I must end at 10 minutes and 52 seconds. We're next teaching, I think I'm going there right away, is in Revelation on the four hallelujahs. Praise ye God, hallowed. El Yah, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, whether long or short, whether Yavah or Yah or Yahoshua or Yah. The Father and the Son have the same short form name, Yah. Shua meaning salvation, Savior, Redeemer, Deliverer, Reconciler. Love ya. Bye.